Hello Leo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Leo, this is your reading for the month of June, and this is a general reading. And this reading is about what kind of messages you need to hear when it comes to your love life. Okay. Uh, what is it that you need to know when it comes to your love life? And I'm going to provide certain self-care tips. And by the way, today's reading is all about oracle cards. I'm not using tarot cards. Okay, because we keep on getting different messages as well. So the most important part about this reading is about self-care tip, which I absolutely don't want you guys to miss. Self-care is extremely, extremely important. Many people, many, many people underestimate self-care. Okay, they ignore themselves till the time they burn out. Never do that. Never and ever. It is very simple. If you are not happy, you cannot make anyone else happy. Okay. Make yourself happy first. Okay. And you can make yourself happy by taking care of yourself. Right. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to provide certain self-care tips. Do not miss them. Let's get started, Leo. I'll shuffle the cards. I'll lay them down and then we will discuss the cards okay so what is it that you need to know from the universe when it comes to your love life what are the messages around your love life so this blue color deck is the energy oracle cards deck and this purple color deck is the self-care uh, deck okay it's a guidebook so what you need to know when it comes to your love life we have financial constraints Okay, then we have the world and we have patience. Interesting. I'm going to pull out only one self-care card. Okay, if time permits, I'll provide another. I'll pull out another one as well. I'm going to use this booklet to explain the card. We have some wonderful explanation in this booklet. Okay, so don't worry. Even if I pull out one single card, there is going to be some lengthy explanation around that card. Okay. Let's get started now. Uh, okay. So what is the self-care that is advised to you guys, Leo? What is the self-care that is advised to you guys? Uh-huh. Okay. Nice. We have drink tea. I'll explain this card at the fag end. Let's talk about the energy oracle cards what are the messages about love life from the universe we have financial constraints and we have the world and we have patience maybe for some of you your finances was a priority up until the recent past or even as of now finances is a priority for you but the good message over here is if at all you were facing any kind of financial issues okay that is going to go away. Okay. If you are living like paycheck to paycheck or if you always, if you always found yourself getting worried about finances, that worry is going to go away is what I'm hearing because we have world card next to the financial constraints. So there is an end of this end of this cycle where you, you experienced a lot of uh, financial issues. I also see that uh, because of that, because of uh, you being continuously worried around finances, your love life was taking a toll. Okay. Uh, if that is not the case, then probably uh, what I see is that either you or your person, uh, uh, your previous partners, uh, some of them had financial issues and maybe majority of the times you had to take the financial burden in a relationship and that was quite annoying okay uh, I see that the next relationship that is about to happen in your life Leo that relationship in that relationship you're going to experience a lot of financial abundance the next partner who's going to come your way till the time that next partner enters in your life either you're going to be extremely financially abundant and that is why you're going to attract a similar partner or even if you are financially stable you're going to attract a person who is financially abundant okay and this is what this is what you always wanted you wanted someone who will be financially abundant. You wanted someone who will be financially like good, well-to-do person, right? 
I also see that uh, a, uh, some sort of travel may happen, Leo. Okay, and there is a possibility that you are about to meet someone during this travel. This travel may turn out to be quite significant. With the patience card, what I'm hearing, Leo, is that have some patience. Once you get into a relationship, uh, don't rush into things or don't start expecting too much. And this is not just applicable to you. This is also applicable to your person. Okay. Uh, but don't be in a hurry. I mean, look, this next person who is going to enter in your life, they will fulfill all of your desires and intentions and uh, wishes when it comes to your love life. Okay. But doesn't mean that someone should lose patience in this situation. And there is no need to become a nagging girlfriend or a nagging boyfriend like you will be you will be anyway very confident about your person okay like yes this is a long-term person they they are the one for me and it is highly likely that we'll get married you are going to have this confidence from the very beginning and they will also have that confidence probably you will also engage into such kind of conversations between one another that eventually we'll get married and all that stuff okay but just because you guys know that you guys are going to end up together you guys are going to get married doesn't mean that you should start pushing them okay now so when things are going to happen or you should start hinting them when when it is going to happen and when this and when that and don't don't get into that role of a nagging girlfriend or a nagging boyfriend okay uh the the message over here is underlying message from the universe when it comes to love and relationship is have patience go with the flow don't try to control the situation okay don't go against the current right now let's talk about the self-care tip and we have the self-care tip over here is drink tea who who all like tea and who are like coffee please write down in the comments i am a tea person okay in fact a majority of people in india majority of them are tea people okay we we have tea and probably even in uk i believe uh, uh, people have tea uk and canada i believe okay uh doesn't matter i i like coffee a lot as well okay but if i wake up in the morning i prefer i prefer tea okay anyways let's see let's see what is the message over here drink tea the mantra for this card is i'm inspired by the wisdom of plants and the beauty of ceremony okay the preservation, preparation, presentation, and drinking of tea is an ancient ceremony. Uh -huh. One that has a lot to teach us about the reverence and care we can show towards our guests and ourselves in the simple moments. Yes. Yes. Uh, in many cultures, not just in India, but in many cultures, even outside India, many countries outside India, what I've seen is if any guest arrive at your home, uh, usually the uh, when we sit for a conversation, the conversation is uh, we 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 ask them, do you like? Would you like to have a tea? Okay. Or when the conversation begins, some people don't even ask. They they are just like, okay, I'm preparing tea, and then they get that tray of tea, and then there is a milk, and there is a a, a tea in another container, and things are like I believe sugar and milk is also mixed up, and in some countries they they prefer a, a tea without milk. But the bottom bottom line message over here is. Uh, it's a it, tea is usually used uh, in in situations which can be considered as a ceremony like when guests uh, arrive at your home okay so uh, the preservation preparation presentation and drinking of tea is an ancient ceremony one that has a lot to teach us about the reverence and care we show towards our guest and ourselves in simple moments you can create your own personal ritual with any drink whether it's tea whether it is smoothie whether it is coffee okay or soda with the right intention and setting exactly so the card says drink tea but 
you can create a ritual with any drink of your choice whether you're a coffee person whether you're a drink person whether you're a soda person okay a smoothie person you're like oh i don't drink any any of these uh, neither tea neither coffee nor coffee okay i'm a smoothie person uh, it's it's your choice you can create ceremony with water as well with lime water as well okay it's like you have to set some intentions by being incredibly incredibly present in the now feeling sincere gratitude for the drink you are consuming and savoring the flavors and sensations fully you can elevate a simple sip into a mindful uh, awakened moment in your day make the setting where you enjoy your drink peacefully and beautiful take the time to venture out uh, out of your usual preferences and try a new cafe or tea shop where you can experience some different types of tea make an adventure out of uh, out of visiting a local tea house to learn more about the history and traditions of tea ceremonies okay so this is very beautiful uh how how do you guys drink tea or coffee where i stay there is a balcony there is a big terrace wherever i'm staying so in the mornings i'm quite lucky i stay on the higher floor so in the mornings the sunlight directly seeps into our home through the windows and through the uh, balcony doors okay so we usually me and my family members we usually sit we have a small table in the balcony and we have 3 to 4 chairs we like to sit in the morning over there that is our tea time we it's a family time okay so we make sure that as a family we gather together we sit over there we spend some family time we chat about like how our day is going to be and how was yesterday and how we felt and how is today's sunrise and everything okay we make sure that it's there is an occasion and tree uh, sorry not tree <laughs> tea brings uh, all of us together so it becomes a small ceremony it is a morning ceremony for for me and my family members uh you can write your own experiences in the comment section like whether how do you guys enjoy tea or coffee or smoothies especially if you are staying with someone sometimes our neighbor uh uh we have our we have four neighborhood flats in and around us okay sometimes they come down at our home sometimes we go down at their home they invite us sometimes we invite them okay so sometimes our neighbors join us in the morning tea sessions sometimes we join our neighbors in the morning or afternoon uh, tea sessions tea or coffee sessions okay and it is such a pleasure interacting with people expressing ourselves so tea it becomes like a ceremony tea or coffee or whatever sitting around and talking to people around drinks okay <sighs> so it is of course it is it is a wonderful uh, tip for self care and i'm i'm i am in love with this book trust me if if you guys want this you guys should be ordering this i'll provide the link in the description box but i'm seriously in love with this book because the kind of description and the kind of tips that has that have been provided in this oracle deck they are just marvelous they are just marvelous they are like everyday tips but in everyday thing there is so much of joy in simple moments and simple things that we do and we forget to enjoy those simple simple moments we forget to enjoy that we forget that it is a self care thing for ourselves and that's why we have been following those since ancient traditions right like people sit together during the meals family members coming together during the meals or family members coming together during the uh, during the tea or coffee sessions in the morning or afternoon it is it is a ceremony for the family it's a everyday ceremony for the family and this has been following uh, many cultures follow this it's an age old tradition many cultures do follow this okay so write down in the comment section how do you guys enjoy your tea coffee with your friends with your family with your neighborhood tea coffee smoothie or whatever or with yourself or you have a corner in your balcony or in your room and i like to sit on that on that one specific chair or i like to sit anywhere you can just express yourself in the comment section okay all right leo take care of yourself and have a great day bye bye